Now I'm going to show you how to rotate a selection in Photoshop. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the Help Video Guru channel on YouTube. Now I've already pre-selected this little tumbling jellyfish here, and what I'd like to do is rotate it so that it's not upside down. If I go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate, you'll see that a box surrounds the selection, and if I hover near any of the corners, I'll get a curved double arrowed cursor. And if I click and hold and turn, I can simply rotate the object to whatever degree that I desire. I can also, if I put the cursor, as you see, in more in the center of the box, I can click and hold and I can drag it and move it around. Now, if I hit the Enter key, that finishes the rotation, and the object becomes a permanent part of the background. Now, you'll notice, of course, that we have this unsightly white uh, hole in our background. Uh, that, of course, wouldn't occur if you had simply had a white background to begin with but um, let's do this over in a different way uh, to show you how we would deal with that issue. So I'm going to go to the History tab and back to the point where I simply have the selection. Now before I start rotating and what have you, I'm going to actually create a new layer with just this selected object and to do that I say Edit copy and then edit paste okay you'll see that the selection disappears and a new layer has been created in the layer palette on the right hand side if I click the eye behind or beside the background you can see that layer one here contains that new pasted object right if we can turn that one off and on as well. Uh, the, the little eyes there are quite useful for isolating objects and cleaning up uh, distracting elements. Anyway, effectively what we have, if we make sure that we have layer 1 selected and we make sure that the top tool here, uh, the move tool, is selected, once again I can just move this object around. Now I'm just going to move it out of the way for the moment. And I'm going to go back to layers and select background. Okay, then we're going to go to the clone stamp tool area. And we're going to select the clone stamp tool. I need a larger brush for this and something a little softer on the edge. There we go. That's a nice large brush for dealing with what I want to here. Now, when you're using the clone tool, go to an area that contains the uh, information that you want to clone, which is just this blue space over here in our case, and hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click, and that will set the origin of your clone. And now we can go and basically erase well, that part didn't work out. We can erase the original jellyfish, all right, by filling in the background color over top of it. Now if we go back to layers, click on layer go back to the move tool on the left hand side at the top we can drag that element back down okay and now we can finally do the rotation that we've come to do say edit transform rotate go to any corner and you'll have your little curved double arrowhead cursor click and hold and rotate Now when you're done the rotation, 
hit enter and there you have it the rotated jellyfish okay now if we go into our history palette here we can see the difference between the original upside down jellyfish and going to our final element on the history list we can see our final result please see my other videos for more help and tutorials if you found this video tutorial useful please subscribe for updates and new info